themselves the guardians of the galaxy. What a bunch of a-holes. Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. Instead of loving J.K. Rowling, which none of us do anymore, I petition that we start loving Marissa Meyer, especially her book series, The Lunar Chronicles. Why, you may ask? Oh, let me tell you. Not only is it a futuristic retelling of fairy tales where the princesses are complete badasses and independent women who don't need no men, the men are just there for moral support. Like, we got a cyborg princess, we got a hacker, we got a princess with scars, and we got, like, a farm girl who is not afraid to shoot somebody. They're all women, and they're all fantastic. And their love interests are completely doting, and none of them are toxic. Plus, the friendship between Cinder and Thorn is the best female-male friendship I have ever seen in any book ever. Not to mention, there's only, like, four white characters within the entire series. I vote Marissa Meyer over JKR. And when my eyes are closed, I see you for what you truly are, which is ugly. Does he have your number? 1-800-BIOTCH. I'm allergic to the sun. So uh, you play the beautiful game, bro? Brothers? Brethren? You know it, bruh. I'm here for you, bruh. Got a lifetime of knowledge. Heels are a male invention designed to make a woman's butt look smaller and to make it harder for them to run away. So try and guess who has a new hyperfixation. If you had told me that I would be hyperfixating on fairy tale retellings, but sci-fi, I probably would have believed you, I know myself. Each book name is the name of a character, so Cinder, Scarlet, Crescent, Winter, they're all characters, and they're all phenomenal. Don't get me started on the fictional men, I mean. And between Kai and Thorn, I will use a very Portuguese expression, namely, Venho Diabo Escolha, which basically means whatever. Because they're both amazing. You may wonder, am I nine years late to the hype? Yes. Has this book series been recommended time and time again? Yes. Will that stop me from recommending it? <laughs> no. So read these books, I highly recommend them. <laughs> the Lunar Chronicle characters as Taylor Swift songs, let's go. <coughs> Cinder. <coughs> Cinder. <coughs> God! This doesn't need an explanation. Would it be enough if I could never give you peace? That's like... <laughs> I love Kai very much. Winter as Mad Woman. Yes. <laughs> Hear me out. If Jason is not Mary's song, because that's friends to lovers, Excellent! Then I did something wrong. Not me imagining Scarlet singing this to her grandmother. Feels! Wolf. That's it. That's the tweet. I call the best sidekick that ever was. Romeo, take me somewhere we can be. Chris. Chris says love story. Because I am right. And everything about Captain Carswell Thorn screams, long story short, I mean, it does. No song for Lavana because I hate her. Wolf, no, no, hey, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I start! Oh my! Oh wow! I am fine anyway.
was dancing in the rain I felt alive and I can't complain But no, take me home And she smells like lemongrass and sleep She tastes like apple juice and peach Oh, you would find her in a Polaroid picture You're so beautiful. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you're so sweet. Yeah, like you I dare I say you you look better than Aphrodite. Take it back, 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 take it back. They call themselves the guardians of the galaxy. What a bunch of a-holes. Anyway, so... And this is my friend River, nice hair, clever, has her own gun, and unlike me, she really doesn't mind shooting people. I shouldn't like that, kind of do a bit. Thank you, sweetie. I know you're team players and everything, but she'll definitely kill at least the first three of you. Well, the first seven, easily. Seven, really? Oh, eight for you, honey. I was a girl in the village doing all right. Then I became a... Certified freak. Seven days a week. Why didn't you tell me? Well, because I wanted us to fail. Obviously, I didn't know! Four female Ghostbusters, the feminists are taking over. I'm an adult virgin. Come on, How the Lunar Chronicle characters would react if they walked in on you changing? Hi. Oh, oh, wow, uh-huh. Mm. You're changing. Yeah, I can see that. Can you hurry up? So I'll be here, standing guard, in case you need it. Okay, okay. Hi, changing. I'm Scarlet. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> it's me. Because I love you! Then stop loving me! I can't! Well, that's the problem! We, we don't, don't work! I know. Anything. We agree. What? I'm the alpha, I'm the leader, I'm the one to trust. trust. Together we do whatever it takes, we're in this pack for life. We're it started with the hay, laughed a creek and well it just started in the hay. With his long jaws on pop went a creeping up to the bottom to the hay. Oh. Yum, 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 yum.
Why hello! My name is Tessa and today I'm going to be reviewing Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. I, I, I loved it so much! Scarlet is the second book in the Lunar Chronicles series, a sci-fi series about fairy tale retellings. I went into this book thinking it was going to be not as great as Cinder because I loved Cinder so much. But it was just as good and I loved it, I loved it so much. I loved the writing, the action scenes are wonderful to read and I love the descriptions of everything. I, I might have a crush on, on Captain Thorne. No, no, no. The mystery in this series is so wonderfully done. You always want to know more and unlock more secrets and things to uh, theorize about. It's wonderful. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars because it was so great. I can't wait to read Crest. Did Nick just tell me love me for the first time? Yeah. And did I do finger guns back? Yeah, you did. No. You said forever, now I drive alone past your street. Monica Lewinsky. Boy, I'm trying to I'm smack him. Motherfucker. So no, I don't want your number, no I don't wanna give you mine, no I don't wanna meet you nowhere, no I don't want none of your time, no Today I am reviewing Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Set in a dystopian future, this is a retelling of the classic story Cinderella. Except Cinderella is a cyborg mechanic, and the prince is dealing with a possible interstellar war and a plague that's killing all his people. So it's basically the same. As far as fairy tale retellings go, this one is super creative. It manages to nod to the source material enough to make you feel like you're familiar with the story, but change things up enough that it feels creative and new. As someone who doesn't read a lot of sci-fi, I also love that this was really light, almost intro to sci-fi. Cinder herself is a really interesting character character. She's strong but also vulnerable, and seeing her come to terms with who she really is is super exciting. It's also important to know that this is the beginning of a series, and it also does a really great job of introducing us to the world and giving us a sneak peek into what's coming soon. If I have one criticism of this book, it's that the story doesn't really end, and that's of course because it is a series. But that being said, as the first in a series, I don't love that the ending is such a big cliffhanger. However, Cinder is really fun, really exciting, and it left me wanting more for sure. Cinder gets a 4 out of 5. Would you like some more quick book reviews? Why simply like and comment and they will come to you. Who the fuck you think you talking to? <laughs> Sit your little ass down.